Look, Dave, I can't put my finger on it, but I sense something strange about him. Still, I can't think of a good reason not to put back the number one unit and carry on with a failure mode analysis. No, no, I agree about that. Well, let's get on with it. Okay. Good luck, Dave. Let's say we put the unit back and it doesn't fail, huh? That would pretty well wrap it up as far as I was concerned, wouldn't it? Well, we'd be in very serious trouble. We would, wouldn't we? Mm-hmm. What the hell can we do? Well, we wouldn't have too many alternatives. I don't think we'd have any alternatives. There isn't a single aspect of ship operations that's not under his control. If he were proven to be malfunctioning, I wouldn't see how he'd have any choice but disconnection. I'm afraid I agree with you. There'd be nothing else to do. It'd be a bit tricky. Yeah. We'd have to cut his higher brain functions without disturbing the purely automatic and regulatory systems. And we'd have to work out the transfer procedures of continuing the mission under ground-based computer control. Yeah. Well, that's far safer than allowing Hal to continue running things. You know, another thing just occurred to me. Mm. Well, as far as I know, no 9,000 computers have been disconnected. Well, no 9,000 computers ever fouled up before. That's not what I mean. Well, I'm not so sure what you think about it. I'm interrupting something. You were explaining to Jack about how we'd be better off without him around here.
read me, Hal? You read me, Hal? Hello, Hal, do you read me? Hello, Hal, do you read me? Do you read me, Hal? Affirmative, Dave. I read you. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. What are you talking about, Hal? This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I don't know what you're talking about, Hal. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me. And I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. Where the hell did you get that idea, Hal? Dave, although you took very thorough precautions in the pod against my hearing you, I could see your lips move. All right, Hal. I'll go in through the emergency airlock. Without your space helmet, Dave, you're going to find that rather difficult. Hal, I won't argue with you anymore. Open the doors. Dave, this conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Hal? Hal? 